Come on, LSU fans. You knew this was going three games. You knew after game one where it was that close and where we kind of let it slip away from us that we weren't going to go down that easy. You know, I had to hear a lot about from the LSU fans talking about how the Texas Longhorns couldn't hold up against that dominating Tigers offense. And then even though our defense was good, y'all would still destroy us. And then we'd have to make up runs. And since we're such a small ball team, there's no way we could keep up with the mighty LSU Tigers. After two games in the series, I can honestly say that only one was complete domination by the winning team. And that was game two. 5-1 victory. Texas Longhorns over the LSU Tigers. But let's just, just cut to the chase. Let's talk about the man of the hour and Taylor Youngman, the freshman sensation pitcher. He went all nine innings, gave up one run, and had about nine strikeouts. What can you say? You get the best performance of your college career so far in the College World Series, Game 2. A must-win for the Longhorns to force the Game 3. I'm very confident in this series. I, even after we lost Game 1, as you could tell, I was not very flustered in my last video. I was disappointed that we let it slip away. I felt we should have won that game. But I do feel that we're the better team in this series. I've always felt that way throughout the whole time. A lot of respect for LSU, a team that if you let them hold, uh, stick around, they will beat you. But we had a guy at the mound today who was not going to be denied. Uh, and Cole Green will start tomorrow in Game 3. But let's talk about today. Uh, Longhorns got all five runs in the first three innings. Uh, it was good to see Preston Clark get on board uh, with, a, with a home run. And also he went 3-for-3 three three to start the game 3-for-4 overall. Moldenhauer, of course, is the surprise to everyone, including everyone in the Texas Longhorn staff and fan base. Uh, Moldenhauer didn't, has not hit a home run all season, and he's got four in the College World Series. That ties the record for most home runs by a single player in the College World Series. And hopefully uh, he can add a couple more and break that record. Eh? That, that's what you get from these Longhorns. You don't know what you're going to get. You, know, you never know who's going to step up, but someone always does. It seems like that in every sport that we've got here with you know, football, basketball, and baseball. But let's talk about baseball. Now, the only run that Youngman gave up was on an error to Brandon Loy, freshman shortstop. Loy actually made two errors today. We had three overall. And uh, one was a bad throw to first and miscommunication with the pitcher and the second baseman and the first, and the first baseman. But Loy, two plays during the game, which is pretty much the exact, a grounder to short, uh, botched those. One of those giving up a run. Uh, so, you know, he's been great for us. He's a great player, uh, but we cannot let that happen. The Tigers are going to come out in Game 3. Everyone's going to be coming out with their guns blazing because whoever loses is done. And we cannot give up errors, especially three errors uh, in a game, and hope to win. I, I think the Tigers will come out better uh, than they did today. But they were completely shut down today. Game 1, we we uh, we were battling at the, at the plate and knocking it, uh, knocking it and the stuffing out of the ball. Uh, but at the end, you know, our, our pitching got out of a rhythm, and the Tigers, who are a good team, were able to capitalize on that. Today, there was no uh, – <laughs> everyone knew who was pitching today, and Youngman came through. Uh, I'm very proud of these guys. Uh, Texas Longhorns, really, uh, really uh, good game today, showing that they are and deserve to be playing against the LSU Tigers. And I, I do believe, I say, these are the two best teams in college baseball. I think, you know, uh, the playoff system got it right this year at all you BCS guys. Uh, and uh, I do look for a good game three, and I am very confident, I do think that the Texas Longhorns will come out with a victory. I don't know if it's going to be as dominant as it was today. I definitely hope so. I, I can only use so much uh, <laughs> uh, so much stress during the baseball games, but this has been a great World Series, and this has been a great, um, a great final series so far, and of course it had to go to game three. No matter how it had to happen, this series had to go three games. So Texas fans, get your horns up, hook them horns in Texas fight, and LSU, you better bring it. Texas Longhorns show they can dominate a game. Don't let it happen to you again. We'll see you guys later. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be making a championship vid. But you got to win it before you can talk about it. So LSU, congrats for getting here. Congrats for winning game one. Texas Longhorns, congrats for dominating game two. See you guys in game three. Hook them horns. Let's go.